In what has to be one of the most eyebrow-raising declarations yet, Meghan Markle is now claiming the title of the most bullied person on the planet. The same Meghan who's been accused of intimidating a staff and driving palace employees to tears now wants us all to believe that she's the ultimate victim. Meghan Markle recently visited a group of teenagers, supposedly to support them, but of course she turned it into a show about herself. She was at Girls Inc. of Greater Santa Barbara on October the 2nd, supposedly to help launch a new digital wellness program. And yet, rather than focusing on the cause, she somehow managed to twist the event to declare her status as the most tormented soul in the world. What was intended as a fun day with games and crafts for teenagers quickly became a one-woman monologue on how much she suffers. Founder of the non-profit Hashtag Half the Story, Larissa May shared that Megan told the teens she's one of the most bullied people in the world. If you're out there saying that you don't read anything about yourself, because it's all just background noise, as you once claimed, how do you even know that you're being bullied? This is the same Megan who's reportedly gone through royal staff like tissues and allergy season. For someone who's allegedly been called difficult and diva by former staff members, the idea that she's now the ultimate victim is a bit rich. Megan's PR machine works harder than a caffeine addicted intern, constantly trying to scrub her image clean. But now she wants us to forget all those nasty stories about staff resigning and family feuds. It's fascinating really how she's able to twist the narrative. Here she is with all the money, privilege and platform most people can only dream of, crying victim. Meanwhile, countless people face actual life-altering bullying every day, with none of the perks of royal titles or Hollywood fame. But to Meghan, reality seems to be a fluid concept, easily moulded to fit whatever message she's selling this week. Somehow, Meghan always finds a way to be the centre of attention. Her and Harry's so-called fight for privacy seems to consist of popping up at every public event possible, all while telling everyone that they want to be left alone. And now she's presenting herself as a martyr for the digital age, though it's worth noting that stepping back from the limelight is a choice that she could easily make. She's got enough wealth and influence to disappear if she really wants to. Instead, we're treated to yet another chapter in the saga of Meghan's ever-changing public persona. First, she was the Hollywood starlet, then the royal outsider, and now the most bullied person in existence. It's almost like she's on a perpetual mission to rebrand herself, hoping that this latest version will finally win over the hearts and minds of a sceptical public. At this point, it feels like Meghan's entire strategy is one big lesson in reputation management. When things get tough, the best defence is to play the victim card. Claiming the title of the most bullied person on the planet feels like a bit of a stretch when there are people genuinely facing hardship without the benefit of a massive platform to voice their woes. Of course, Meghan wants to redirect her attention away from the less flattering aspects of her past. Those pesky allegations about her behaviour? Irrelevant. The tales from former employees who couldn't work with her for long were supposed to ignore all of that. Apparently being bullied is a get-out-of-jail-free card. So what's next? Maybe she'll add another accolade to a growing list of self-bestowed titles. If Megan's taught us anything, it's that no story is too far-fetched when it comes to the PR spin. But remember, Megan, the public has a memory and a penchant for rolling their eyes when the story just doesn't add up.